Hey guys, it's Mish, and I am back <laughs> after my little hiatus there. Things got even more hectic than I imagined, but I'm back. And today's video is very near and dear to my heart and research interests because I'm doing neuroscience and I'm very interested in Alzheimer's and dementia. And I found this really cool study about fat intake and how it relates to people developing dementia. What these researchers did was they took 5,000 participants who were aged 55 or older and who didn't have dementia and assessed their diet and nutrient intake and then they studied them two years later to find out which ones got dementia. And so this is a classic longitudinal study, even though it's pretty short. They got some amazing results considering because generally these things take longer to actually see results. The food questionnaires consisted of food frequency questions, so they have them fill out what kinds of foods they ate and how much and how often, and they use this to calculate nutrient totals so that they can figure out how much fat and saturated fat and cholesterol and protein, things like that, that they were eating. The results are pretty scary and I'm really surprised we haven't heard about this more considering it's something that people can change very easily. And what they found was that out of the nutrients that the participants were eating, the biggest predictors of developing dementia, like Alzheimer's, was fat intake, especially saturated fat intake, and cholesterol. And so the more fat these participants ate, the more likely they were to get Alzheimer's and other kinds of dementia. And it was especially related to vascular dementia, which is what happens when you get blood vessel problems in your brain, and it's it has a similar mechanism to things like heart attacks. And so it's also been shown that fat, and saturated fat especially, contribute to cardiovascular disease, and this, in turn, might cause dementia. However, even crazier than that is that the researchers actually controlled for atherosclerosis, which is sort of a marker of cardiovascular disease, and they found that this association still held. So even if you don't get cardiovascular disease from saturated fat, which it still makes you more likely to get it, you still have a higher chance of getting dementia from eating saturated fat. And some of you should rightfully be asking, hey, this is a correlational study, how do we know it's saturated fat and not things that are associated with eating it, like smoking or alcohol or general health behaviors? And the researchers controlled for a lot of these kinds of factors, like smoking, alcohol, education level, fiber consumption, antioxidant consumption, atherosclerosis, and stroke. And they controlled for all sorts of other things that could be associated with fat, and they still got the association. Oh, and they also controlled for total energy intake because fat intake is highly correlated with taking in more calories and being overweight. So even when they controlled for total calorie intake, fat was still a predictor. So it seems like fat, especially saturated fat from animal products, and cholesterol, also from animal products, are doing something directly to the brain, which some animal studies actually corroborate. So it's been shown that feeding mice cholesterol causes more deposition of this protein that causes Alzheimer's. Well, that we think causes Alzheimer's, and that is highly associated with Alzheimer's. These researchers also found that omega-3 was predictive of not getting dementia. So the more omega-3 these participants ate, which is the fatty acid that everyone's always talking about that you can find in things like flax and chia seeds, and people who ate more of that were less likely to have dementia. And so the more you ate, the less risk you had. And as for the actual concrete numbers on what was risky and what wasn't, the researchers found that those participants who ate more than 75 grams of fat were much more at risk than those who ate less than 75 grams of fat a day. And as for saturated fat, that was about 35 grams. And just for an example of how much this is in terms of diet, I used my fitness pal to look at what kinds of things you'd have to eat to get that much fat, especially saturated fat. So I inputted it here. And in order to get 75 grams of fat a day, most of which is saturated fat, on a standard American diet, which is very unfortunate that this is the case, is, for example, for breakfast, you could have a two egg omelet with bacon and cheese. And for lunch, you could have a grilled cheese sandwich. And for dinner, two slices of pizza, or some steak, or really any kind of other animal product. Or even milk with cereal for breakfast. So if you had this combination of things, you're st way over 75 grams of fat. Which is pretty standard diet for a lot of people. Like, omelet, sandwich, some kind of meat or pizza thing for dinner. So, there's a lot of data backing this up, even though this is just one longitudinal study. I thought it was really interesting. And so the main takeaway points from this study, if you want to apply them to your own life, would be to eat more omega-3s, like flax and chia seeds, and eat less saturated fat and cholesterol if you want to minimize your chances of getting dementia, like Alzheimer's, when you're older. I hope this was interesting to you, and thanks so much for watching. 
Please share and subscribe to see more videos.